two-year deal. You've been serious. A two-year deal he got. No way is he lasting six months in this job. Hello and welcome to T News. I am Tommaso, your news reporter, and today we are at the USMP Stadium for the first game of the new season. New manager Tom FM is here and he's hoping to take this team to new heights after he was signed over summer. He can't speak Spanish, but will that be an issue? We'll find out after this game. Hello and welcome back to Vamos to the Top. Hope you guys are all doing well and looking forward to today's episode. Yesterday you guys gave such a lovely warm reaction to the new series. Uh, it seems like a lot of you guys are just as excited for this as I am. I cannot wait to get properly started in today's episode with the USMP and hopefully absolutely dominate Peru. So once again, we'll set a likes target. How about 400 likes on today's video? That would be absolutely fantastic, thank you. You join me at the start of a brand new season and we'll talk more about the league and its rules as we get into today's episode. But the first game of the season is against Binacional, which is probably not how you say it at all. I will give a big disclaimer right now. I'm going to get so many pronunciations wrong in this series. So, um... <sighs> I'm sorry. So I must say a lot has happened since you guys were last here. So uh, let's talk about things in a logical order, shall we? And we'll go through pre-season. Against Juan Labrada, we only lost 5-1, which was a big improvement on the 8-1 loss that we had to Elche. So I was really impressed with the way we bounced back and got a pretty decent result there. And things got even better against Cartagena. We only lost 3-1. It was a fantastic result for us, considering we'd been absolutely dominated in the previous few games. And then I think the very best result out of all of the preseason games was a 5-1 loss to Valencia, because quite frankly, Valencia are really, really good. So to only lose 5-1 to them, I thought was pretty impressive. Now, we did manage to get a couple of wins. We did beat some local teams 6-0, including this fantastic free kick from Oliver. And we did manage to beat another university-based team 7-0, which was fantastic. Uh, Tuesta getting this goal here, as you can see, and he has been the absolute player of preseason, getting goals, creating assists. He's been fantastic. Probably, in my opinion, the best player we've got on the team right now. But of course, we had to make some additions to the team, and that is exactly what we've done. Now, we've been able to bring in some new players by increasing the budget, by reducing the bonuses that players are going to get towards the end of the season. I'm sure we're not going to be too upset about losing some bonus money. I'm sure it's fine. I also tried to raise a little bit more money by selling some players, and we had a third choice left back that was actually valued quite highly for the team, and I thought, right, let's get rid of Vega. Offered him out for £40,000, and of course, £40,000 was bid. However, he was not happy. He thought £40,000 was too much, even though we had a bid for him accepted. So we had a bit of an argument. He got very cross, and he was so cross with me, he decided to stay at the team by rejecting the contract at the other club. So he's still here, annoyingly. But we have made three signings, and two of them are strikers, which I'm sure you'll be very pleased to hear. Gonzalez Vigil, he is the first player coming into this team. 25-year-old Peruvian player with five under-20 caps, although he is 25 right now, so he isn't going to add to those anytime soon. But does look like a pretty decent player, not really the goal-scoring striker, which is, you know, kind of what you need in a striker. Only nine finishing, but everything else seems pretty well-rounded to me. And then to complement him, we've also brought in on a free transfer, Brian, or as I think I'm going to end up calling him, Brian. But he looks like a very solid striker. Nothing stand out, but as a striker, 13 pace, 13 composure, 13 dribbling, 13 finishing, 13 first touch, 13 technique, 13 acceleration, 13 agility. He looks all right. I think he could do a job for us, you know. And then to bolster the centre of midfield, we brought in Argentinian Samir Casasola, who actually looks like a pretty decent playmaker. And at 21 years old, still has five stars of potential. So if he plays well, if he trains well, you never know. This potential could actually be decent. But that's all the news from pre-season. I think it's been a pretty decent pre-season. We've learned a lot about the team and the players and who we want to be in this team. So I think we're going to have a great season coming up in the Peruvian First Division, which is a little bit complicated. So let's explain it. To start the season off, the league is split in two. So two different groups of nine teams each. Now, bizarrely, there's only eight games. Every team plays each other once, not twice. So just the once whatever reason. The winner of each group then play against each other and then the winner of that group goes into the championship playoff which is at the end of the season. Once the first stage of the season is complete the league is then combined and everyone plays against each other once. 
So I think the league standings continue to carry over. So if you got nine points in the first group stage, you have nine points in the combined league table when it all combines at some point in the season. It's a little bit confusing. At the end of the full league season, the top four teams go into a championship playoff which I presume means they play for the championship. But we'll, we'll come to that bridge when we get there, because even I'm a little bit confused about it still. I'm pretty sure that the winner of the playoffs wins the league, but I'm, don't, don't, don't quote me on that just yet. Just as a recap, the board have come to me and they've said, Tom, we need to finish outside of the relegation playoffs. So we've got basically the easiest job this year. Just don't get relegated and will be okay. The issue is that the season preview places us at 16th out of 18 and that 16th place is a relegation playoff place so we are going to have to be at our absolute best if we just want to avoid being in the bottom three. This first game of the season though against B Nacional is actually going to be a really decent game because they are just above us in the pre-season preview so a nice early win against a relegation rival Hopefully that will mean we're going to be on top form. And so this is the team that I think is going to do the job for us today. Now, we are playing a 4-2-3-1. I know we lost 8-1 last episode doing it, but I think it just fits the strength of the team the best. So in goal, we have our goalkeeper, Carlos Solis, who is a fantastic right-footed keeper, who is very good for this level. Pretty pleased with him. The back line is made up of Alvaro and Puero, which I'm probably going to say all wrong, but he's more of an actual left midfielder than a left back, but does have some pretty decent attributes to be a left back. So he's going to be pretty solid for us, I think, playing in the left-hand side of defence. We then have the best man in the back line, Marcos Delgado. He is more of a CDM, to be fair, but at six foot, uh, with decent marking and tackling and heading and all sorts of stuff like that, I think with his left foot, he would be a superb centre-back for a particular 11 passing as well pretty decent for this level so Marcos Delgado is going to be our ball playing defender on the left and he is joined by Alejandro Gonzalez in on loan from Sporting Crystal another team in our division he's a right-sided defender pretty decent Herbis Cordova though he's our right back and to be fair with 15 pace is going to be lethal down that right hand side if we can unleash him but the whole idea of this formation is to get the ball to our centre back to then play into the midfield and these guys play into the attack so on loan from Alianza Lima we have Axel Moyano in the centre midfield as a ball winning midfielder aggression 12 tackling 13 marking 13 he fits the build pretty well in my opinion and then of course we have man of pre-season Juan Tuesta He's starting as a centre mid on attack, which is probably one of my favourite roles in FM22. Out wide, we have the biggest danger man in the team, at least on paper, and that is Gonzalo Veron. He's the guy we spoke about last time out. He's the guy who is supposedly the best player in this team. On the other wing, though, we have 23-year-old Axel Campos, who, again, is not too bad. 14 pace. We've got a lot of pace down the right-hand side of the pitch, something that we need to utilise quite a bit. Crossing 10, a little bit low, but good dribbling at 13 as well. Hopefully, just knocks the ball past every on and can just sprint past them. Now the man pulling the strings today because of an injury to our first choice attacking midfielder we have Romario Gamara who is a 21 year old I think he's come through our youth team or he's not come through our youth team ignore us <laughs> I didn't mean to say that either way he's got four and a half stars of potential and more of a winger but can play through the middle as a playmaker has got some decent vision very good passing and very good first touch for this sort of level and he is going to be trying to feed the ball through to our striker Gonzalez Vigil who is that strike we spoke about earlier on got a lovely bit of facial hair hopefully that will intimidate the defenders and he'll just score plenty of goals so that's a bit of an introduction to the first 11 we'll talk about more of these players as and when they come onto the pitch but i'm feeling up for this one i'm feeling good let's get a win so kickoff is upon us here for the first game of the season we are in the white uh, binacional are in the blue and uh, 22 seconds into this game they've got the ball in the area and and scored. Look, we weren't ready. We just weren't ready. Um, the referee blew his whistle too quickly. We weren't ready for it. Um, all that. Well, look, it could be worse. Uh, well, look, things could be worse because we could be 3-0 down, couldn't we? We're not 3-0 down. We're 3-0 down. Ah, right. We're going to get back in this game now. They've had a man sent off. Right, watch this free kick be delivered onto someone's head. I mean, I, I meant an attacker's head.
It's not even funny at this point now. It's not even funny. I mean, they had a red card. They went down to 10 men and they still scored. What formation are they using? I can't make any sense of what formation this is. What, what, what is that? Well, throw the water bottle. Uh, this is as good as over. Pathetic first half. Uh, demotivated everyone. Great. Great. Thanks a lot, lads. Oh, and now Campos has got an injury. Right. Well, well off you come. Annoyingly, he, your replacement is also injured. So, Veron, you switch over. Oh, for goodness sake. Gamara, you go out wide then. Have we literally got no one? Right, okay. Ignore all of this. Let's go two strikers. Why not? Let's bring Brian on. See what you can do. A little Brazilian. Save us, please. I mean, 66 minutes on the clock right now. This, this is where we turn the game around because I've just shouted demand more. Uh, and this is where it's going to change. You know, I've shouted demand more. Everything is going to turn around now. Everything. This is going to be like a whole new team as we get the ball in. Not quite an attacking area just yet. Now an attacking area with Vigil. He finds a great ball through to Brian. Brian, at least it's a highlight in our favour. I mean, I'll celebrate that. Come on. Cordova with a throw. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. It's liquid football now. Varon on the ball into Cordova. Beautiful stuff. This is high level football right now. Cross to the back post. Put over the bar. The thing that's really upset me though is I've just looked at the match stats. Um, it's very, very even. It's ridiculously even. They've got an XG of 1.3 and they've got four goals from it. I mean, if anything, I feel like we've been unlucky here today. We've just been very unlucky. Another injury. And Puero, the left back, injured. Well, it's fine. We actually do have a left back on the bench. Uh, Rodriguez, on your come. This is Jose Rodriguez, by the way. Um, can't be much worse than what we've got on the pitch already, can they? Well, I mean, we drew the second half. That's something. We drew the second half with a 10-man team, but still, we drew it. Okay, so how bad are the injuries? Our left back is out for two to three weeks, whereas Campos, our attacking midfielder, out for two to three days. That's all right. Uh, Brian makes his professional debut. He had a good shot. Well done to him. Uh, whereas Gonzalo Veron feels I'm too harsh on the team. Okay, Veron, let's have a word here, lad. Let's have a word. Um... Pfft. I promise I'll do better. I promise I'll do better. I can't have a mutiny at the start of this. I cannot have a mutiny. I will kiss your ass as much as you want me to. Just to... Oh, I, I need the support of the players. I need them. Luckily, we have uh, three weeks until... Three weeks! Three weeks until our next league game. Right, let's get some morale into this team. Let's get some morale quickly into this team. Three friendlies against just some really random nearby clubs who are probably terrible let's let's do that they all want to play against us that's fantastic i cannot wait to absolutely thrash every single one of them i mean the scouts are coming back with a lot of a lot of players uh, a lot of players here there is one big issue though with this uh, no more than five foreign players in the starting 11 so i mean it's it's difficult and when they say five players in the starting 11 they mean five players in the actual squad it does say maximum of five foreign players within the registered team so it's not just starting 11 it's literally in the entire team to save a space i've actually deregistered our on loan goalkeeper who are not going to play at all but annoyingly i cannot can oh i can terminate his loan Yes, get out of here. I don't want you. And speaking of lone players, I don't know who you are or why you're at the club. Um, so if you could also get out of here, that would be fantastic. Terminate your loan. And that opens things up because if I can find it, uh, we are only allowed to have four, pl four players on loan in a season. Now, hopefully it means total at the club at one time and not those two are going to count for the whole season because i tell you what at this stage anyone anyone will do please i mean the team that just thrashed us uh they have got an attacking midfielder available for loan he's 32 he's from peru um but he's <sighs> make an offer L loan limit of four loans per season i thought that could be the case no <laughs> oh no so because we've had loan players before, we can't loan more of them. We genuinely are screwed. Uh, we are screwed as other teams in our league are playing. I don't know why we're not, but other teams in our league are playing as we are about to play a friendly, which I'll get my assistant manager to do. We should win it 5 or 6 nil, I'm sure. At least. Something like that. I mean, if we lose this, it'll be embarrassing. Looks like we only just won it. Great. Oh, dear me. I do feel like now is a good time to point out that uh, in Foot Manager... 
they don't have the second tier of Peruvian football. And uh, I haven't actually gone to the, the trouble of downloading the second tier for Peru. I might have to do it, if I'm honest with you. I might have to do it now. But no, let's have some confidence. It's, it's a long season. Plenty can happen. And we've just won a friendly 6-0. I mean, it's... Look, things are feeling good. Oh, I was not prepared for that. Uh, the transfer window has finished. Didn't even, it didn't even give me a deadline day thing. Oh, God. So we, re we really can't bring more players in now. That's it. We're, <laughs> we're stuck with this lot. But don't worry. We, ha we have just won 8-0 in a friendly. Who's this guy that just got a, a hat trick? Jean-Paul Sandoval, who is a right-sided player. I mean, it, it might be worth playing him in the next game. Don't worry, though. Our next league game is against the team who are top of the table um, so far, which, which is great. Perfect. Ayacucho FC, first place. Right. Well, at least we're at home for it. Look, we have just won three friendlies on the bounce in, in, in great fashion, all right? But do I want to put the same team out as last time? No, not really. I mean, Oliver can't play because he's still injured a little bit, to be fair. So rather than play him, let's try Espinosa this time. Just see if you do any better. Uh, the guy that scored loads of goals from the right wing last time out. Uh, Jean-Paul, right, get on the pitch. I want to see what you can do. Also, Brian, on you come. You know, see what you can do with your 13 pace. As for that, I'm, I'm still going to trust the rest of the team. So let's get out there, boys. Let's not embarrass ourselves. And here we go. Kickoff is upon us. First game of the season at our gaff. And we've got a corner. Which we haven't scored. Okay, you hate to see it. But we still are in possession right now. And this is something that we've not had for a long, long time in the game. I've not seen it for a while, but we're in possession. And Brian was a mile offside, but st still couldn't score. I, I feel good about Brian. I think Brian is going to be a really solid player for us. I think he's going to be... The focal point of our attack. There's just something about him that makes me think, wow, this kid is special. As Veron isn't so special. Look, we've got the 30 minutes and we've not conceded a goal. This must be some sort of record for us against teams who are actually at our level and not like some local under-12 team that we have been thrashing 8-0 recently. But, I mean, it would be quite nice, wouldn't it? It would be quite nice if we could just... Just one goal. That's all I want to see, you know. Just, just the one goal in the league to get us up and running. That's what would make me feel an awful lot better about the situation that we currently find ourselves in right now. But at the moment, Ayacucho are on the attack... And they are working... Well, we're holding them off quite nicely, to be fair, in the midfield until they suddenly just find some defence-splitting passes like this. And now they're in our penalty area. Luckily, they can't score. You know what, though? Half-time. Half-time, nil-nil. This is, this, is, this is like a victory for us. Like, we should be celebrating this. Pump fists. Um, you've been the better team out there. Go on, lads. I'll be honest, I do think part of the issue is our team are, are just not very good mentally. You know, they, they don't seem to get on very well with my team talks. But they might get on if I encourage them. I might encourage them in a second as we are on the ball right now. Espinosa gets it into Cordova, who takes a big dive, but we do hold on to possession nicely. As Tuesta into Cordova. Are we actually going to get this ball into the middle? We are, as we hit Brian. Brian. Brian scored a goal for us. You love to see it. Oh, we're 1 0 up. Fantastic. No. No. Brian. Okay, well, I'm going to shout encourage. We've got 30 minutes to go in this game, but I feel encouraged by what I've just seen. I've seen us score. Yes, it was offside, but I've seen us score a goal. I've seen us do it. I know we can do it. I know we can also... Look, we've got nothing to lose now. Absolutely nothing to lose. Wing back, attack. Uh, wing back, attack. Winger. Attack. Just everyone. Sh Shadow Striker. Attack. Everyone. On the offensive now, please. Casa Sola. Let's see what you can do. You're the new guy. You come as the box to boxer. Let's get Delgado on in the middle. Yeah, in the middle. 15 minutes to go in this game. We've got nothing to lose. We've made changes. We've gone very attacking. We've let them through. We've let them through. It's a good save from Carlos Solis. Okay, that's that. That's something positive to take from this game. As Brian finds Veron, can we go on the counter attack here? Get your bodies in the middle, boys. Come on. 
I mean, we could do a better crosser than that, please, Veron. You know, you're meant to be the best player in the team. If you could just cross better than that, that would be amazing. Encourage, very attacking. We've got eight minutes to go in this game. And we've won the ball. And then lost the ball immediately. Come on, I, just a draw. I just want a draw, please. That's all I want. I mean, I should also be celebrating a 1-0 loss as well. And I... You know what? We have been 50% better than last match. And I think that's improvement enough to be happy with. You know, we, we have really improved ourselves and we look fantastic, I think. And with a minute to go in this game, we're on the attack. You know, there could still be a goal in this game for us. There could still be a goal in this game for us as Gonzalez brings it forward out wide to Cordova. Cordova beats his man, puts it into the middle. Veron at the far post. Puts it over the bar. Okay, so maybe we lost this game 2-0. But we had more shots. We had way more possession. We had way more pass completion. I don't know how we've lost that game, actually. I'll be honest with you. Looking at these stats now, I don't understand how we've lost this. That's mental how I've lost this game. But I feel like it's something to build off. It's something to build off, maybe. So I think next time we come back for the Cusco game and the Alianza Universidad game, right at the end of this first stage of the group, stage stuff because then we have like two months off before the actual league gets started again it, it seems very stop and start in this division in this country but we'll go with it shall we so thank you very much for watching today's episode hope you guys have enjoyed it we've got a lot of work to do here but hopefully we are going to turn it around and and do a good job with them uh, until next time though have a lovely evening make sure you do drop a like on the video for me subscribe for new rounds here and leave a comment down below for the youtube algorithm until next time have a good one goodbye